Well, good morning. Who's ready for another backlit Grimm's fairy tale? <laughs> I always look better backlit. Anyways, uh, I'm back from Charleston. Had a lovely time. Did my skit. Uh, I'm puttering while I talk to you. Um, gonna go to the goddamn gym. Uh, so, back, back to work this afternoon. Uh, back to life, back to reality. Cleaned up the house, put all the props from the show away. I have no idea if I will ever perform that piece again, which is exactly what I said two years ago when I put it all away, and then there it was in Charleston, so maybe some other time it will come back, but I ain't pursuing it. I ain't, put, I ain't putting another dime into it. Anyways, Grimm's Fairy Tales. I am still trying to get through that frickin' anthology. It's huge. So I read one last night, a brief one, and um, this is what becomes clear with the Grimm's Fairy Tales. I think some of these stories were told to ADD children who were like, you know, it's it's bedtime and they're standing on the bed, jumping up and down, eating a sugar cube saying, tell me a story. So these mothers or maids or whoever the hell told these stories are like, fine, here's your story. And some of it's recycled material. So here you go. This one is called, not making this up, Old Rink Rank. Tell me a story. Sit down and I'll tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a king who had a beautiful daughter. I've heard this one. No, you haven't. Stop eating that sugar. Sit down. Once upon a time, there was a king who had a beautiful daughter. So the king decides, I'm going to build a mountain out of glass. I'm going to have a mountain of glass erected because I could feed my peasants or I could have a mountain of glass built because I'm a king. So he does. And then he says, whoever can climb over this mountain of glass without tripping can have my beautiful daughter. Sure. Uh, so there's this guy. Uh, is he a prince? He's a, he's a handsome guy, of course. And uh, he's in love with this princess, and he wants her. And the king's like, sure, you can have her if you go over that mountain of glass without falling. So daughter's like, I love him too, so I'm going to go with him to help. Like, I'll hold him up if he starts to fall. That makes sense, because they're not going to fall together. So they go running up the mountain of glass, and they get to the top, and then she trips. Oh, my God, and she falls. The mountain opens up. And she falls inside of it and disappears. Kaboom. The king and the prince man are, or, or the, the handsome man are just distraught about this whole situation. So they dig, 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 dig in the mountain somehow of glass, but they cannot find her. She's gone. They're grieving. They're, they go home in grief. Um, so inside, she's deep inside the mountain where she comes upon an old man with a long gray beard. My name's old Rink Rank, he says. Okay. Uh, here's the story. You're going to do my bidding and you're going to be my servant or I'll kill you. Okay. So years go by and she's inside of this mountain doing his housekeeping, making his bed, cooking his meals. And every day he pulls a ladder out of his pocket. What? And he climbs up out of the glass mountain and he does stump, stuff and comes home with like a mountain of gold and silver. And this goes on for years. Now she's old. He's old. How does this happen? That she, one day while he's out, she closes up all the windows and doors. The mountain inside of the, the, the hollow inside the mountain has doors and windows. I don't know how. Except for there's one little, like, hole. So he comes back and he's like, let me in the door. No, hell no, she says. He finally comes around and looks in that little hole. But he can't get his head through there because of his long beard. So he pulls his beard through the hole first. She, aha, she grabs the beard, ties it to some trap door. I have no idea. That makes no sense, but into a trap door. And he's trapped in there. Then she grabs the ladder and she's like, you tell me how to get the, you tell, tell me where that ladder is or I'm not letting you free. He finally tells her, she climbs up the ladder, but she has put a string on the trap door of his beard. She gets to the top, kabang, pulls it. So he's now free and she's also free and she gets the hell out of there, goes back to her father. She is now old. Her love is now old, but there they are together. Oh, thank God. So happy. So the king goes to the mountain, has the mountain destroyed, finds old rink rack, kills him and takes all his gold and silver. The end. Go to bed. And there's your story. <laughs> the end. I'm going to the gym. <laughs>